Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Daiwa Anglo-Japanese Foundation. Uh, my name is Jason James. Weather, nice. Uh, thoughts are turning to gardening, although if your thoughts are only now turning to gardening, you're probably not a serious gardener. Um, and the Chelsea Flower Show um, will be opening on the 20th, as I understand. And uh, we're very fortunate to have with us here today, um, well, one person who's very closely involved with the Chelsea Flower Show, and one who is less so, um, the team Saga uh, from Saga Prefecture are going to be uh, putting a garden in uh, the Chelsea Flower Show this year, and it features uh, the ceramics of uh, Arita, which is a town in Saga Prefecture, uh, famous for uh, its Arita porcelain, which is also known in, in the West as Imari uh, porcelain. And so today, our, our first speaker, Mr. Yukio Suzuta, um, is the director of the Kyushu Ceramic Museum in Saga, and he'll be talking about the history of uh, Arita's famous porcelain. And then he'll be followed by Shuko Noda, uh, a garden designer who also comes from Saga Prefecture, and he'll be talking about the way in which ceramics are being used in the garden uh, that's being put together at Chelsea for the flower show. So please, uh, Suzuka. Mm. Hello everyone, my name is Suzuta and I'm the director of the Saga Prefecture Kyushu Ceramic Museum. Today I'm here with Mr. Noda, a garden designer. The two of us will provide a commentary on the garden creatively designed using Arita porcelain. First, I will explain the history of Arita Ueda and its characteristics. Afterward, Mr. Noda will explain his garden design entry in the Chelsea Garden Show. In England, there are many manners which belong to the noble families. Newby Hall is a mansion house located in Ripon, North Yorkshire. It was built in 1680 and is currently in the possession of Compton family. In 2007, we investigated the Arita porcelain in this hall. In England, <clears throat> there are numerous rooms in Newby Hall. This beautiful room is done in the Rococo style. We discovered a piece of Arita ware here, dated to around 1680s. It was porcelain produced by a famous pottery in Narita called Kakin. The porcelain which had been exported as a coffee cup as used as an ink pot. Originally, this was made as coffee cup, but changed as used as import. It was carried from Japan to England over 300 years ago and kept carefully until these days. And these are also Arita porcelain from 300 years ago. They are still placed on display in the room as decorative items. There are also 300 years old. There are many beautiful works of porcelain like this in Newby Hall.
This shows manor and museums in England, which have collection of 17th or 18th century Arita porcelain. They were investigated in 2007 and 8 by Kyushu Sangyo University. I also participated in this research. We were able to locate Arita porcelain all over England and confirm that people of the upper classes have cherished Arita ware for hundreds of years. This world map shows the trade route between Narita and Europe and the palaces and castles where you can find collection of Arita ware on display today. You will find Arita porcelain alongside Chinese porcelain at the Bali House and Hampton Court Palace in England, the Twinger Palace in Dresden, Germany, and the Topkapu Palace in Turkey. This is the town of Arita. It's a beautiful town surrounded by rocky mountains. It is a small town of just 20,000. But this is where the first porcelain was made in Japan and then spread both domestically and internationally known as Arito Ware. Arita is located in South Prefecture on the Kyushu Island of Japan. The Kyushu Ceramic Museum, where I work, is also in Narita. Here is what the old street of Arita looked like, since a large part of the town was lost in the fire in 1828. Many of the buildings were constructed in the late 19th century onward. This is the raw material that the Arita porcelain is made from because this white stone was discovered in Arita. Arita become, uh, became a leading producer of porcelain. The stone is crushed into powder and made into clay. This large plate depicts the work, workshop of Arita 200 years ago. This is an interesting piece that shows each process of porcelain production. The stone are crushed and made into clay. This is the cowrie mine and crushing using these tools and making clay and shape their shaping and fire using this gear and painting their painting here grazing they are grazing. And fired once again in a climbing kiln. 
And this is Clan Q. It also shows business negotiation. Here, they are talking about the price of the ceramics. <laughs> and this scene from 200 years ago closely resembles the traditional workshop in Narita today. The picture to the right shows Craftsman in Kakiemon workshop. When Arita Posen began in the early 17th century, climbing kiln were built on the slope of the hills. They were shaped the long tier tunnels. This is the model. This is an uh, aerial, aerial view of the center of Arita. Large climbing kiln, tens of meters long, were built throughout the mountain in the 17th to 19th century. This is a stone quarry where the raw material is collected. This is a clan kiln. The pottery made in Narita was carried to the port of Imari, about 10 kilometers north, where it was seeped out to the rest of the country. Thus, Arita Goya was called Imar Goya at the export destinations. When exporting internationally, the pottery was first transported from the port of Imari to the port of Nagasaki. There, they were sold to Dutch and Chinese merchants staying in Nagasaki. They would put the merchandise on their ships and take them to Southeast Asia and Europe. <coughs> this world map shows the sipping route for when Arita Posen was shipped to Southeast Asia and Europe. The red line is the route from Europe to Japan. This line from Europe to Japan <coughs> took this course. And the blue line is the return route. It's the blue, blue line means return route. It took about one year by ship from Japan to the Netherlands. Many Arita Posen remain at Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna. They were mainly collected in the era of Marie Antoinette Massa, Maria Theresia.
this is Aritoposer made, made in about uh, 1700. And these are uh, also Aritoposer. This side of this bridge on the wall. This is Louvre Museum collection. This this it was a gift to, given to the Queen by Louis XV around. 1729. Inside, there are pieces from the Kakimukiro named Arita. They are the teapot and the sugar pot. And this is Kakimu ware. The silver trimming you see was attached in Europe, not in Arita. This metal work. The other pottery is from Meissen and China. I don't know which one is China or Meissen, but these are maybe Chinese white porcelain. There are all examples of porcelain modeled after Aritaboya in Germany, England, and China. Can you guess which one is which? You will see you are professional. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Meissen. On the under side, you can see a mark of two sword crosses. The coloring using three colors, blue, gold, and red, are typical of uh, the porcelain. This is very dark, but basically th this dark color is blue and red and gold. This three color combination is, was very popular in Narita way. Um, this is from Chen, China. Uh, both coloring and patterns are modeled after Narita way. This is from Ulster, England. There are Chinese character on the on the side. This is Chinese character. Um, This is original Arita porcelain. The design on the front is a Japanese pattern, but the signature on the box says that it was made in China. <laughs> this is Great, great Ming Dynasty, uh, Kase, and the Kase years product. It's very strange for Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at the time, it was common to add Chinese style signature as decor decoration. These extra extravagant works use a lot of gold color. The large base on the right is for European palace. The ball on the left is thought to have been used by the rich merchant class in Japan as a cake ball.
you can see that in the same period, designs were tailored for domestic and international markets. This is the production process of Aritaweya. The stones are crushed into small pieces to make clay, which is, cha which is shaped on the potter's wheel. After the potter is, potter is shaped and dried, the bottom part is shaved to finish it off. And this is then fired at the lower temperature of about 900 degrees. Patterns and pictures are painted with blue pigment and covered with uh, grays. This is fired for a second time at a high temperature of 103 degrees, 100, 100 I'm sorry, 1,300 degrees. Finally, red and gold paint are added to the pictures, and then the pottery is fired once more at the low temperature of 800 degrees. So in this way, colorful Aritaweya is fired three times. In addition to tableware and the flower bases, there are, able, there are also special work of Aritaweya like sculpture. This is the Posen Tori Gate located in the entrance to a shrine. Usually, Tori Gate are made from wood or stone, but the shrine in Arita has a Posen Tori. At this shrine, you can also see guardian dogs. and other these things. This is the last picture. These are uh, images from the G8 summit held in Japan in 2008. Each participated head of state was given an Arita Posen fountain pen from the government of Japan. And this is an example of how Arita were preserved tradition while pioneering new uses. This is the end of my presentation. Next, Mr. Noda will give a commentary on his garden. Thank you very much. English is not so good. I just read, read, read. <laughs> so uh, don't sleep. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shiko Noda. I am a garden designer. This year, I have the great honor of submitting an entry to the Artisan Garden Division of the 
Chen Shi Flower Show. This entry, titled Arita, will be my first work outside Japan. It will also be the first time that Arita Yaki or Arita Porcelain will, will be used in a garden design. So you may imagine how excited I'm to be here. When I heard that in the artisan garden division of the show, designers are challenged to use an artisan approach to build method and choice of materials that are sustainable. I imagined what it would be like to use materials from my home prefecture saga. Then I decided to design a space using aritayaki. Aritayaki is a traditional craft native to Saga Prefecture. Ask any Japanese person and they will know of Aritayaki in 2016. The town of Arita will celebrate 400 years of porcelain making since the first kilns opened in 1616. If you were to visit Arita, you would know that it is a very small town with a population of just 20,000. But it is from this small town that the first Japanese porcelain was born, and the first aritayaki was exported overseas in the 17th century, inspiring all among European audience. In fact, you may know of Aritayaki by its other name, Imari. Aritayaki came to be recognized world worldwide as a manufactured product made to order. Its fame followed international recognition. Unfortunately, Aritayaki has lost the glory it once had in the past. <coughs> there are many reasons for this. Mass production of tableware, competition from foreign potteries, cheap foreign made porcelain, and changing lifestyle. What, whatever the causes, there is no doubt that the porcelain industry in Arita is losing strength. However, Arita Yaki has 400 years of history. It features many distinct patterns and painting styles such as the blue and white old Imari style, Kaki Emon style, uh, old Imari gold painted style, and the Nabeshima style. As a garden designer, I saw great potential in Aritayaki. In particular, I noted three characteristics. Beauty, story, and eternity. First, beauty. Traditionally, the beauty of Aritayaki is that of blue and white. However, a variety of decorative styles have emerged in response to market needs and with the advance of technology. <coughs> I wanted to show off the beauty of Aritayaki, not just indoors, but outdoors too. Second, story. Aritayaki has 400 years of history. This history excited me. The fact that this single plate before our eyes at this very moment was made by the hands of nameless potters 400 years ago, that it carries the spirit of its maker, its color unfading. I believe that there is a story there. In my garden designs, I incorporate the concept of time, past, present, future. Another way to look at it would be ancestor, parent, child, grandchild. In my designs, I try to express this connection between human lives over thousands of years. 
Aritayaki is like a letter from our ancestors, which has traveled through the dimension of time to reach us living in the present. In the same way, I believe that we living here today must take care to leave, leave behind our beautiful, precious treasures for our future generations who will receive them hundreds of years from now. As you know, porcelain is quite fragile. In the, in the last 400 years, countless aritaki must have been lost in big wars and natural disasters such as hurricanes, earthquakes, or floods. In order to preserve aritaki for our future generations, we must prevent wars and disasters from happening. This is hope that I place in Aritaki and the story that I wish to tell. So, eternity. Visit Arita and you will see that everything is made from porcelain. The rails on the bridge, walls, tables, chairs, and even the Tori gate to the shrine. Porcelain does not crack or damage easily from UV rays or water. Living in Saga, we accept the porcelain structures as simply part of the scenery. However, visitors to Arita may find all of porcelain unusual. You see, Arita Yaki is very long lasting. So, as it is preserved properly, its beauty will remain for eternity by using Arita Yaki in my garden. I infuse it, I infuse it with my sincere wish that this beautiful and pleasant time and place will last forever. For these reasons, I wanted to use Aritayaki for my garden design. Aritayaki is a perfect, sustainable medium to tell a lasting story with a beautiful, universal message. Also, with Aritaki skilled potters can realize in the best possible shape and form what we designers desire. Now, please allow me to explain the garden Arita. My first plan was to design a summer house. So, summer house surrounded by garden in a space of six meters by six meters for the fresh garden division. But then the Royal Horticulture Society suggested that we submit an entry using materials from Arita in the artisan garden division, changing the size to five meters by four meters. At first, I was unsure. I thought maybe we will not have enough space. Building a garden in a space this size would be very difficult. However, Japanese garden designers are always thinking of such matters. So we found the solution right away. There is, there is a saying that a house and a garden make a home. It may be difficult to understand in English, but the Japanese word for home or family is made of two Chinese characters. The first character means house, and the second character means garden. So in Japan, we cannot call a space a garden just because it is pretty. A garden can exist only if it com complements a building. So I thought I would show the Japanese idea of a garden at Chelsea. This is what I visualized. One, a blue and white summer house made from aritayaki in the middle of forest, or a garden in an office, courtyard, or a special, a peaceful resting place on the rooftop of a building, a calm, relaxed, 
atmosphere. Second, in this place, people would read books, listen to music, drink tea, or be on their smartphones. The sound of water would be soothing, not a noisy distinction, dist distraction. Second, uh, uh, third, the plants would be low maintenance, Japanese trees and plants. The assortment of trees, uh, assortment of trees gives the garden a sense of changing season. An artistic but also practical space. At first glance, it may not be obvious that design is Japanese, but if you look closely, there is a Japanese feel to it. It is said that the word garden comes from the ancient Hebrew words for enclosure, garden, and paradise, Eden. Here, uh, here we have surrounded this space of luxury on three sides. This wall is quite tall from outside. You can only see the side of the top molding made from aritaki. Of course, the pattern is an aritaki original. Only the owner of this space or guests who have been invited inside may view the top part finished in a lush blue porcelain. Plaster walls have been used in Japanese architecture for a long time. Typically, these walls would be topped by a tile roof. This time, we did not use tiles. Instead, we emphasized the blue and white of Aritaki by covering it with a porcelain molding. The result was a very beautiful wall. The molding is painted in blue and white. The images are of flowers from each season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I believe that the Japanese and the English have an appreciation of seasons in common. We took care to keep the molding simple to preserve the elegance of the white wall. Next is the summer house. We decided to design this part in a thin, single color white in the midst of a garden forest. It is like a single white light. That is the idea behind this summer house, even though the design is modern. The post and beam structure is a staple of Japanese architecture. This was inspired by the walls of Saga Castle in my hometown. Of course, everything from the structure to the size is different. But when I imagined a world of blue and white, the castle was a central source of inspiration. Post. Yeah. <laughs> what I spent the most time thinking about regarding, regarding this summer house is the use of water. I believe that Water has the amazing ability to be enjoyed with all five senses. In this work, I also wanted to use water as an expression of time. There is a classic work of Japanese literature called the Hojoki. The beginning of this work expresses a very important set of values for the Japanese. <laughs> Just be. <laughs> the flowing river never stops, and yet the water never stays in the same. Form floats upon the pools, scattering, deforming, 
never lingering long. So it is, it is with man and all his dwelling places here on us. Understand? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> People and houses do not last forever, but water continues to flow. This image is very important to the Japanese. Humans' dreams of the eternity, they cannot have the mystic, the evanescence. I decided to let, let water flow over the grass of this summer house. From, from a practical point of view, it separates this inside from the outside and keeps privacy. And when you look outside from the inside, the red of the maple tree is emphasized. The sound of water flowing and beating down is something that the Japanese find great pleasure in. Under the grass is a pool. At the bottom, we have laid tiles decorated with goldfish. Even though they are Im images and not live fish, live fish, but moving the water over them, they waver in a way that makes them look as if they are real. I wanted, I wanted to give yet another role to this versatile substance water. Uh, substance water. That is the role of the second hand of a clock. In this way, it was possible to realize an axis of time in this garden. It expressed the flow of time, past, present, future. Even if someone who lives and, and loves in this garden passes away, the truly beautiful things will be kept and loved for a long time, even if the walls and the summer house were to go unnoticed. Slowly falling apart, the Aritaki will remain in its beauty and may be discovered again by those who live in the future. And then, surely, they will feel the passing of time. Maybe you can just have a look at it and I'll pass it over to the people behind Don't drop. <laughs> 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 oh, this, this, this is mi miniature size. Um, the other size is foot, like football. The football size garden object named Koimari Shigyoku is placed at random throughout the garden like ornamental stones. Shigyoku means a beautiful or impressive object in Japanese. I gave it same character as in my own name, Shuko. These spheres painted in the old Imari gold paint style are perfect for the garden or inside the home. This is a new Aritaki and original work. Perhaps you would like to one for you for your own home. <laughs> Little expensive. <laughs> by, by placing these spheres in the garden, you give you give color to the space. Surrounded by green plants, it emanates beauty. You can also light it up at night. In this garden. The spheres are given the roll of an ornamental stone and also a lantern. If you look into the water, you will see the painted image of goldfish. As the water moves, they will seem to actually swim. 
Only someone who has been invited in may enjoy this special treat. This is the play, playful spirit of the Japanese. The white ties have been processed to be non slip for outdoor use. I wanted to embody a world of white and blue with summer houses, summer house in the shade. Green leaves, plants and flowers, blue, purple, white flowers welcome visitors with dignity. Lastly, the plants. The red Nomura maple tree is a focal point in a world in a world of blue and white. We purposefully place a bit of red. I think this is the spirit of the Kakiyamon style which gained popularity in the 17th century. Among green leaves, the red color is an effective accent. I wanted to show scenery that is part of everyday everyday life for us in Japan. In general, Japanese plants are considered low maintenance. This is because they keep relatively well even if you don't take time to water or prune them. The farthest north that you can find wild sazanka, a type of camellia in Saga. In the, in the winter, it cheers us up. The undergrowth is made of plants all with, all, all with ties to Japan. That's all for the garden. So far, I've spoken about the reason I decided to use Aritayaki in this garden and the effects that I was aiming for. As I said, in my designs, I'm always, always mindful of the concept of time, past, present, future. I also try to pursue sim simplicity without being boring. I am not interested in far out eccentric designs or designs that follow a current, current, current trend. What I want is a design that will be loved for many years, like a quality pass of court pass, passed from parent to child. The plants that color a garden teach us the cycle of life. From the maple trees, sp 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 sprouts, sprouts cute, little leaves in the spring, Personally, I like the maple leaf in May, the best in May, the best. In the summer, you must protect it from pests. In the autumn, it begins to turn color. In the late autumn, the leaves quietly turn a dark red. A quietly turn a dark red. Then, eventually, they fall. Only the bare tree trunk and branches remain. Until spring comes again, you might not remember that the tree is still living. The fall leaves turn to us and give the garden a new energy. This is the same for other plants too. Plants are practical practical in other ways too. The rays of the sun shine hard and bright in the Japanese summer. So the shade that the trees cast over the windows are a welcome protection. When the warm rays begin to feel pleasant in the winter, the leaves will fall. Then on those sunny winter days, the sun will shine through the window. The, fl the flowers also act as a calendar that tells us of the seasons. Depending on the season, 
you can watch the insects and the birds that gather near the flower and fruit and the children playing. We live and exist only here and now. What, what do beautiful gardens exist for? And why is and why is it that we can enjoy our lives ex exciting here now? Here is I, what I think. We do not wish to lose the peaceful, relaxing and happy times we spend in our gardens. And similarly, we hope that our children and our children's children will make happy memories like we did. And we are to be grateful that in the past, our ancestors like us now may have hoped that we can live and exist happily. We live here now to give thanks to the past, enjoy the present, and hope for the future. It is my duty to design such a space. A garden that uses aritayaki, it is a present which we enjoy gifts from the past, and we must carefully pass on such gifts to future generations. What we give to future can be changed by how we live in the present. I designed this garden with the belief that it can be a place of serious play. I invite it in, I invite you all to please walk around and take a look at my garden. Thank you very much.